up stuff on the internet these days is that you Google knows what you're trying to say because of all the bad spellers out there. Like within two seconds, Google knows what you're trying to say. I'm just like, thank you. Thank you, everyone else in the world who is also looking up gonorrhea. <laughs> For a friend. I didn't notice until, you know, Facebook is fun, we all do it, whatever. But I didn't notice how weird the check-in was until my cousin checked in to at a funeral on Facebook. She checked in and I, I didn't know you could do that. And I'm like, the check-in is weird because it's dumb. Because no one gives a shit where you're at. <laughs> you know, no one gives a crap what you're doing, where you're going. So you're really only checking in if, number one, you're being obnoxious braggadocious, right? You're selfie in front of the water, umbrella drink. You're at work and I'm in the Bahamas. You're not in the Bahamas. I am. You know. Or you're boring as hell. You know, you take a picture of a price tag. You're like, hey everybody, I'm at Target. Trash bags are on sale, y'all better get down here. <laughs> or, you're just at happy hour again, you know, like me. <laughs> you got your picture, your full beer, next to your empty beer, some watery tickets, you know, you're like, hey man, I'm at Murphy's, drinking two for ones, about to win the lottery, y'all better get down here, stay my friend. <laughs> lottery all right because that's the thing is with the lottery you cannot give and you know you automatically when you get those lottery tickets think you're gonna win right and you cannot give people who are used to living on 50 bucks a week millions of dollars in alcohol <laughs> and, and I happen to know this from experience and I'm not joking, when I was when I in my hometown, when I was growing up, this these this family that lived in the trailer park, and I mean the entire family. They had like four or five of them, and they all lived together. And one of them won ten million dollars. And they decorated they the the, the first thing they did was they bought a house, the biggest, nicest house in the town, moved everybody in it, and then they lit it up like, they bought it in the fall, it was in the fall, and then they lit it up like the Griswold Christmas vacation. <laughs> you could see it from the bridge, you know, and uh, so I thought, you know, like, Win a lottery or something. You know, the first thing I would buy if I won the lottery is um, a gift card to the Betty Ford Center for myself <laughs> because that would get ugly. You know, that would definitely get ugly, as I know from the people who already won it. <laughs> and needless to say, most of that family is not alive right now. Like they're not. You can't give people who are used to living on 50 cents to the dollar food stamp cards millions of dollars in alcohol and food. You can't do it. Anyway, I'm going to go. I'm sorry. <laughs>